Three tips and tricks to improve your improvisation. Hey guys, Dan Stasia here, and I know improvisation can be challenging. That's why I will share with you some tips and tricks to improve your improv skills. Before we get started, our dance quiz of the day is... The answer will be revealed at the end of this video. Now let's get started. Tip number one, alphabet exercise. If you ever get stuck and feel unsure about what move to do next when free dancing, try the alphabet exercise. The alphabet exercise is when you make up dance moves by creating letters with different parts of your body. For example, you can use your elbows to make an A, your toe to draw a B, your hips to draw a C, and once you go through the entire alphabet, just start all over again so you'll never run out of moves. Tip number two, plot twist. If you know a dance routine by heart, the next time you get stuck improvising, you should try performing that routine, but with a plot twist. The twist might be that you perform the routine really fast or really slow, or that you try the routine in a different style. For example, if you know a hip hop routine by heart, you can try practicing this routine as if it were a ballet dance. Or finally, the plot twist can be reversing your upper body movement with your lower body movement. Here's an example. I'm going to perform the Macarena reversing the upper body and lower body. <laughs> Tip number three, go through your day. If you don't know what to dance about the next time you improvise, try dancing about your day. Tell a story in your head and act it out. Here's a visual example of me telling the story of my day in my head and personifying my experience through dance. Today I bought a new sweater. I drove to my friend's house and ate a large bowl of soup. This improvisational technique was my first lesson in improvising and practicing this technique has helped me become a strong storyteller when I perform. Bonus tip, know your purpose. It's important to understand the context of when you are improvising and why you are improvising. Maybe you're at an audition and the choreographer asks you to improvise or maybe you're at a party dancing with friends and you need more movement ideas. Both scenarios require you to improvise within a unique context, so always ask yourself why am I improvising and what is my goal in this moment? Understanding your purpose and objectives will steer you towards a successful and positive improvisational experience. I hope this video was helpful. If you enjoyed it and want to see more like it, have some class. Comment, like, and subscribe, share. The correct answer to our dance quiz is... Once again, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you movers next time. Bye!